Novakin, Novakin, Nalosin, Los Varahin. Spike taught me that. It means I'm Joe Stevens and this is the Equestrian Inquirer. I think. <clears throat> the winner of the Equestria Rodeo has been announced, Phillies and Gentle Colts, and it was not who we all expected. Despite losing and taking in no prize money, Applejack has somehow come into a large sum of money, leading many ponies to speculate that she forfeited the rodeo competition. As was expected, Horse Vegas has placed Applejack's odds of losing the rodeo at 300 to 1. We asked Applejack if she indeed threw the competition on purpose. As a result, Freddy Baxter is once again recovering from serious injuries. We may never know if Applejack purposefully lost the competition, but it is 100% certain that by next week the town hall will be completely refurbished. And of course, we won't be looking into this story further, and that has nothing to do with Applejack buying our silence. And now, a special segment. Joining the video staff is our own Tech Rat, here with a special report called Mayors in a Minute. Here is his story on the most recent crisis involving Timberwolves in Ponyville. Good evening. I'm Tech Rat for the Equestria Inquirer, and this is Mayors in a Minute. A law has been passed that makes it illegal for Applebloom to whine. It seems that her most recent bout of excessive complaining was so ear-splittingly loud and obnoxious that it actually attracted a pack of timber wolves from the local Everfree Forest. Thankfully, Diamond Tiara heroically risked her life to lure the timber wolves away by being chased, screaming in terror, back into the forest. Her whereabouts are still unknown, and currently nobody is bothering to search for her because nobody really liked her anyway. As for Apple Bloom, she can face fines and jail time for any further whining, so she has been forced to find another outlet. She now complains incessantly about her lack of a cutie mark on her face hoof account instead. For the Equestrian Inquirer, I'm Tech Rat, and this has been Mayors in a Minute. Back to you, Joe. I want to take a moment to talk to you, Equestria, about a problem facing our world. You see, there is a threat. A threat to Equestria greater than all other threats combined. No, not Scootaloo. We're pretty sure she only wants to bother the EI. And no, not Derpy Hooves. We're pretty sure she breaks things on purpose just to collect money in a giant insurance scam. Though that's strictly speculation. I'm not even referring to Rainbow Dash. I am, of course, referring to Pinkie Pie. This threat, this lingering threat has been building unseen for years. You won't hear this from the Celestia administration, and don't trust the media on this. You'll only hear this from me. You see, Pinkie Pie has it within her power and her desire to see the very nature of Equestria destroyed. I know, I know, I was once unwise like you folks. I. I am just a messenger. I am nothing special, but heed my words. This threat is real. Think about it. Pinky sits. Party cannons. And have you ever seen her break Twilight's magic at will? Pinkie Pie can somehow break through magic spells and appear out of nowhere. She has even on one occasion been seen affecting the very fabric of reality, stretching existence itself and speaking beyond some invisible wall, beyond a fourth barrier of the universe. Look at this. Look at this. Here. Here is Pinkie Pie. And here is Pie. Now hold on. Hold on, hold on, stay with me. Pi is an equation used to calculate circumference and other mathematical equations. Pinkie Pie is a pastel pony. But put them together. Now do the math. You'll see that it adds up to a world of pink parties. One day. One day, Ponyville. Pinkie may break through this barrier, this, this fourth wall. Why? Aliens? No one knows for sure. All we know is that she will unleash a torrent of 
of party cannons, party cannons breaking through magic spells, party cannons in the substance of reality, party cannons in your mind, everywhere and everything's blown to party. Hide your kids, hide your wife, there's party everybody in here. Well, there's party cannons blowing up streamers and cakes until all the world goes up in a giant confetti ball of party. <laughs> You see, Ponyville, some ponies aren't looking for anything logical. They can't be bought. They can't be reasoned with. Some ponies just want to watch the world party. I'm Joe Stevens, and this has been the Equestrian Inquirer. Good night, and good luck. Pinky's having a party? Oh yeah, definitely down. Callberry punch! <laughs>